Hey guys, just real quick, I'm going to show you what I decided to do with my Dutch bucket configuration and the little bit of modification that my butts, buckets include and the reason why I made those modifications. So, step one, you got to have a water drain hole, take your hole saw, drill that out. Notice I'm doing this on the bottom of the bucket and not on the side. Step two, male female piece with a rubber washer. Make sure your washer's on the inside of the bucket, obviously. And then for the third step, I'm just taking my circular saw and cutting off a piece of this uh, fitting so you can see the, the level of difference there. Here's why. I'm using three inch drain holes. So they're gonna sit in sequence you can imagine about not this hole wouldn't be there about 90 of these buckets uh, all draining into this three inch line I didn't want all of the volume of the pipe being taken up the additional volume being taken up by the drain see that one sits just inside there whereas if I didn't cut them you can see how much room, and if you multiply that times 90 buckets, how much volume of the drain pipe would be occupied by that fitting. It's just unnecessary. You probably wouldn't need to do that. I just felt better going ahead and taking the extra time to alleviate any drainage problems that could come up from having so much volume in the drain line being occupied by the fitting. Uh, now, obviously, when these are sitting, uh, I'm going to take another piece of 3-inch PVC, which will not be there's not going to be any water moving through it it's just going to be there to support the bucket the reason why I did it this way is because I don't have access to unisils here in Thailand and if I did order them they'd be very expensive and the shipping and then I have issues with customs and taxes and everything else so I just use what was available um, these are much cheaper this male female piece with the washer probably runs about 50 cents a piece pretty cheap um, so that being said if I was to do a drain on the side like my other Dutch buckets using what's available to me here in the country I would have had to have used a 90 degree angle so by the time you took one of these buckets sat it on the ground with no elevation drilled a hole here and accommodating enough room for a 90 degree angle piece of PVC, a 90 degree elbow, I'm going to be sitting up almost six inches into the bucket and I didn't want that much stagnant water sitting in my buckets. So that's why I did it this way because I would have had to have gone out and somehow purchased something for these things to sit up higher to accommodate for that 90 degree elbow. This way I didn't have to do that. Now inside the bucket I will have a piece of three quarter inch PVC that will be about four or five inches long it's going to pop down in that which is exactly what that's made for I'll put a three quarter inch end cap on the end and I'll take the saw and drill a couple of slits into the PVC itself not the end cap but the PVC which will allow the water to drain but will not allow the hydrotone that I'm using to flow into the drain so that's kind of the idea behind it um, yeah, so I think that'll work out just fine. Just a little bit of a different take um, because the way I had set my concrete up, it's already sloped. I don't have to build any slope into the drain. The whole thing is already sitting at a slope. And uh, this just seemed to be the most efficient and effective way to accomplish what I was trying to achieve. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.